done by them oysters. All I can say is, any time you fool with oysters, better be damn careful about oysters. Hey, y'all. Got a pump. Check it out. Got a nice one right here. Pretty heavy. About a, maybe a one pounder, maybe two pound. I don't know. Nice, ain't it? Pump. Hey, y'all, Sopo here. Uh, somebody was asking, how is it out there? Well, let me tell you. Let me show you, first of all. We've got these cool clouds, man. Look at this. That's the shape of Texas right there, the, the coast. That's why those clouds are doing that. See that? Isn't that cool? But now we're over here to the Gulf of Mexico, and I got two rods out. I got one pompano so far, and my friends down there, they got about five or six. And I'm hanging here at Jim's Log. Oh, look, 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 oh, look, 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 look. That's, that's what you call pompano. I gotta go now, bye, bye, bye. Okay, folks, I'm back. Oh my <laughs> God, this thing was jumping. This is about a, I don't know, two or three pounder. It was jumping three feet out of the water. I didn't know what it was even. You saw that rod buckle over. Oh, I have a guest. Say hi to everybody. Hi. And the two dogs. My two hi. dogs. Look at that, folks, that's a doozy. It's really fat, man. They're coming by in school. Get out here, Jim's love. Line up the frogs, people. Well, we don't leave them too long in the ice box. No, indeed. I use mine the same day when I get them. Oh, yeah, you see that? Okay, folks, got another one. This is a little smaller. This is the smallest one so far. It's not really, this is a HDX uh, tournament, but that thing doesn't bend that easy and it had it buckling over pretty good, so my third one. I think it's starting to hit. The tide's going out and it's going to start stopping and then that's when they're going to go crazy. So when you get off work, get out here now! I see that's what my mama died from. Yeah, she ate some oysters. From what I can understand, that's what caused it again. Okay, let me make another report. The last one, I got a big old hit, man, about a three pound pump. Maybe it's going to happen again. Usually if you take a piss, or you start doing playing on your iPhone, that's when you get a bite. Anyway, the water is gin clear. Do you hear me? Gin clear. Out there it's aqua green or emerald green, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you got costas on, you can see everything. It's beautiful. The beach is packed like a freeway, like I-10, but not that many cars. The uh, dunes, I haven't gone over there, I'm sure there's dead carcasses and whatnot, but this is where we're gonna have Pomp Fest in one month from now, and it's gonna be awesome, y'all. Awesome. We're gonna have down there uh, the merry-go-round and the Ferris wheels, then the roller coaster will be right about over there. No, I'm kidding. Well, you'll, you'll feel like you're on one the next morning, don't believe me. But see, we can park up there. We'll find a spot that's kinda of cut out. Down there it's flatter. We'll put our cars up in the dunes, and uh, that's how we see it. Leanne's down there. She's catching uh, pomps also. Everybody's catching pomps. I mean, I've been getting reports up and down the beach. Some pelicans out there. Um, there's a lot of birds working offshore. I can't reach cast that far, but I've cast it as far. The GDX is unbelievable rod, y'all. That thing, that's what I caught the three pound on. And man, you talk about fun. Awesome rod, Nick Meyer. The, um, HDX tournament bud is awesome too. I had a pump that was so strong he was bending it and that's not, not that easy. It's got an AVET which is a killer reel. The guy down here he's been running back and forth to his rod. I'm sure he's getting pumps. They're in now folks. It's the time of the year. Tis the season to be jolly and fill your ice chest up with folly. What a dud. <laughs> That's the most dangerous thing out And it was oysters, I believe, that she's gotten sick on. Yeah. That's so many fun and whatever. So, man. Got another one, y'all. This guy's pretty big. Let's check it out. Whoa. That day's still, still kicking like crazy. Anyway, uh, caught this on the GDX also. And um, it, it's awesome, man. If y'all can get out here, get out here. Whenever there's clear water like this, this is the year of the pump. The red tide only made them hungrier because all the bait's gone. So, listen to Sapo. He says, get out here. Get out here now. Don't fool them damn boys. You leave them alone. Oh, you can't bomb that. Let's see what I got so far. 
about that many. Can you see them? I'm not going to pull them out. They're nice. They're staying cold right now. Don't forget to join the club. South Texas Pump Hunters. Look, folks. You might think the group's dead, but it's not. It hibernates during the summer. And then every fall, it explodes. And it comes to life. It gets resurrected like Frankenstein's monster. Believe me, folks. Believe me. So, make sure you join South Texas Pump Hunters. Even if you're not into fishing, come on over. You know, we, we show how to cook. We uh, tell stories. Um, Bob Gilda posts all kinds of uh, weird, you know, stuff that has nothing to do with fishing and stuff like that. But it's okay. It's all good, folks. Come on down. Okay, here's the final tally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does that sound right? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, cool, I got ten. They are big. I got from the biggest to the front to the littlest on the back. I threw back anything under uh, like 13 inches. I, I said 14 earlier, but anyway, take a look at these. Very nice. These are about maybe two two and two and a half pounders, then you get down to your one and a half pounders, then you get down to your three quarters of a pound, maybe one pound. And these these are all good eating pompanos, folks. This is uh, one of the best fish in the Gulf of Mexico. There's the final tally. So it was a great day at the beach, and I'm glad I came out here. I fished alone, and it was very peaceful. And uh, I think my doctor would be proud of me. So, Sapo, out.